Something big awaits us, and many people can sense it. On April the 8th, a very special total solar eclipse will take place. We are currently in the corridor between the lunar eclipse and the solar eclipse, and a number of very unusual things have already happened, or are about to happen which I would like to talk about in a moment. But for now, a warm, warm welcome here on my YouTube channel. And if you would like to have a weekly energy update, please sign up for my free newsletter, where I share a lot of information with you every week. And I also have a membership where you get exclusive channelings, energy updates and healing sessions. They, there you can also ask me your personal questions in our personal live streams and you find the link in the description box below this video. The solar eclipse takes place on Monday, April the 8th. And at what time exactly the eclipse will have its peak depends on the time zone where you live. In Germany, it will be at 8 o'clock and 20 minutes in the evening. And this eclipse happens everywhere in the world at 25 degrees in the sign of Pisces. And I'm talking about Vedic astrology. We refer to the actual position of the stars and planets in the sky. And the eclipse takes place in the lunar mansion Revati. It is a total eclipse, which means that the sun will completely covered by the moon. And the path of the eclipse from where it can be seen on earth is mainly over Mexico and parts of America, North and Central America and the Central Pacific. In Europe, it is most likely to be partially visible in Iceland, in Ireland, England and Portugal. It is said that where the path of the eclipse is visible, these regions are the most affected by the energies. And these energies can be felt maybe for over four years. So it's not just a matter of a few days or two or three weeks. What makes this eclipse so special is that other important events take place at the same time. The first is a special comet and its name is Pons Brooks. And this comet will be visible in the sky during this time period of the eclipse. And this is a very fateful omen because nothing happens by accident. And this comet visits us every 71 years. And the last time was shortly before the outbreak of the Vietnam War in the year 1954. And this time the comet will be visible in the sign of Aries. And the sign of Aries is very strongly associated with the topic of war and conflict. But we always decide how things play out. Aries is the natural first house of the zodiac. And this also stands for a great new beginning. New beginning that this comet indicates. And it's up to you personally which side you choose, the war or the new beginning. For the new beginning, however, you need to cultivate peace within yourself. The next very unusual one is a nova that has just become visible and can expand explosively. It is a very special astronomical spectacle. And this nova is actually a small star that is part of a binary star system that we cannot normally see 
in the sky. And this star is now becoming visible and could have an explosive burst of brightness in the near future. But don't worry, it won't be dangerous for us here on Earth. But there are just unusual things that are all happening right now in connection with this solar eclipse. But this nova doesn't necessarily have to explode exactly at the time of the eclipse, but it could happen at every moment. And we have the Sun itself right now, which is extremely active. And the Sun is very strong connected with our body and also our awareness. And this can bring confusion into especially our physical system. And as I am recording this video, we have had another huge solar eruption on the Sun, a big X flare. These are intense energies and maybe also a pole shift on the Sun may be imminent. Everything is in a state of upheaval at that moment. And we are also experiencing high seismic activities. Very active volcanoes or the number of strong earthquakes that are currently taking place, even here in Germany and in Greece. There have been earthquakes and these are all important signs that show us that something big is about to happen. Before I come to the solar eclipse, we now had the lunar eclipse and shortly before there was the terrorist attack on the concert hall in Moscow. And I know there are people who think they see a bigger connection also with the collision of the container ship in Baltimore in the USA. And I already mentioned in my energy update in March that the lunar eclipse could lead to accidents and terrorist attacks. And I already showed you the horoscope of the attack in Moscow in my last video and would now like to take a brief look at the horoscope of the shipwreck in Baltimore because it's very interesting to see how the stars in the sky indicate these events and what further information we can find there. And I also would urge everyone not to be too quick to draw any conclusions if you haven't really checked the sources that are putting out any speculation about it, neither in the public media or also the alternative media. And above of all, my heart goes to all the people affected and their bereaved families who has been so tragically affected or have lost their lives. And basically we have so many crisis areas right now where many people are suffering or dying thousands of people every day. And my compassion goes out to all of them. So here is the horoscope of the Baltimore shipwreck, where a container ship crashed into a bridge pillar. And to read a horoscope of such an event, we use the date of the attack as the birth time and then the first thing we look at is where is the ruler of the first house and what is the first house. And by the way, if you want to learn how to read a horoscope like this, I recently held a free workshop where I explained all these details, what the planets means, what the houses means and what the signs means and how you combine all this to read a horoscope. 
You can find the link, check the link in the info box below this video if you are interested. It's a free workshop. So what do the stars show us at the time of this accident? And it was really certainly very tragic what happened there when cars tipped off the bridge into the river. And for this shipwreck, we have the most exactly time that is about um, when it happened 1.30 in the night. And the moon was in the horoscope exactly over the lower lunar node. And this happened one day after the lunar eclipse. It happened nearly the eclipse degrees. And the lunar nodes are always connected with the fate of humanity. And at this time in the night, the moon and Ketu meet at exactly 22 degrees. This is very special. Such an exact connection. Mars also had an aspect to the sign of Virgo, where the Moon and Ketu is, and this intensifies those energies. The sign of Virgo is often associated with accidents, misfortunes and difficulties. And Ketu always deprives us of something and also stands for breakdowns. And the, break, the bridge literally is broken. And at the same time, Mercury, the ruler of the sign of Virgo, of Virgo was in Gandanta, eight houses away. This is also a big deal. And it also brings the idea of scandals and hidden things to the forefront. This is also a big deal. And this Mercury is also connected with a very special fixed star. And this fixed star is connected to the stars of the sea monster. The sea monster is a constellation that was also involved in the terrorist attack in Moscow. And you can find out more about this in my April energy update, which I'm linking again here. The fixed star is called Baton Kaitos. Baton means belly. Mercury, which was on Gandanta on this day, was at zero degrees together with this fixed star. And this means extreme danger. Above of all, it can be connected with the failure of electronics or technical devices that do not proper work. And especially when it comes to shipwrecks. And Rahu was also there, only a few degrees away in the horoscope. Rahu was in the year 1912 when the Titanic sank at 28 degrees in the sign of Pisces, also in conjunction with Baton Kaitos, this fixed star, the sea monster. Very significant and, and unusual what happened, what happened right now in the corridor between those two eclipses. But now let's look what awaits us with the coming, with the upcoming solar eclipse. At this time, the sun is in the sign of Pisces at 25 degrees together with the moon. A solar eclipse is always a new moon. And what's special this time is that it's also the first new moon of the year in the sign of Pisces. And the first new moon always points the way for the energies of the whole year. And you can make your predictions only based on this new moon in Pisces. 
And it does not speak of an easy year with those energies where the solar eclipse happens. But it is not about everything getting worse. In reality, it is quite the opposite. It speaks of a great ending. And with an ending, a new beginning comes. Because the eclipse takes place in the last lunar mansion, in the last degrees of the zodiac, in the sign of Pisces. And at the same time, Mercury, which turned retrograde shortly before the eclipse, is again at the zero degree mark in Gandanta. And as I said in my energy update for April, this is a critical point of decrease, Gandanta, where you can feel like you are losing control. These energies also indicate that the element water will play an important role, role for all of us in the coming years. Neptune. Neptune is also conjunct a fixed star called Sheet during this eclipse, which is also not easy and is often associated with tragic events and also tidal waves and violent storms. And because the eclipse gives an energy imprint for the whole year or more years, we have to expect that there could be more floodings the next years. And this means that we can at least prepare ourselves in areas where this issue can become critical. And we are also seeing these massive floods in desert areas right now, which are absolutely unusual. Or also snowfall there in the desert. And the weather is currently really going crazy. Of course, the topic of earthquakes is still very present. And eclipses are often a major trigger, a major trigger for earthquakes and seismic changes. But it's very difficult to predict exactly where an earthquake could occur. And I have to say, the opportunity is really big that a major earthquake could hit America. It doesn't have to be, but I will come to why in a moment. And the ruler planet of the sign of Pisces, where the eclipse takes place, is Jupiter. And therefore, the position of Jupiter is very important. This gives us more information about what this eclipse will bring us. And Jupiter is in the sign of Aries together with Uranus. This is the natural first house of the zodiac which stands for a great new beginning. And 13 days after the eclipse on April the 20 or 21, it depends on where you live here on Earth, we have an extraordinary conjunction. And I have already mentioned several times, this is the beginning of the Great Awakening, when Jupiter and Uranus meet exactly at 27 degrees, which is an event of the century. The last time this conjunction took place in the sign of Aries, was in the year 1513. And it doesn't have to be the case that something big happens on this day, but it heralds something big that is of great significance. Uranus stands for a higher octave, access to a higher level of consciousness especially the level of our soul and our higher self. And so many people will awaken with this conjunction. But even that is usually to awaken is a process. And at the first, it is not easy. Many of you know that awakening initially means feeling strange. 
and you might perceive people around you differently than before. And you might realize how you have been living in old patterns, behaviors and ideas that are not really true. It is the dark night of the soul. But it is also a very important process to recognize who we really are and how we can lead our lives in a self-determined and free way. And when I talk here about the energies of the planets and how they can show themselves, it doesn't mean that we should be afraid of what may come. Rather, it is primarily about recognizing how great our creative power is and that you can determine how things can change, that nothing is set in stone. This is the most important thing about this solar eclipse, which happens together with this Jupiter-Uranus conjunction. And this can bring us important and life-changing new insights, a greater understanding of who you are. Many changes will come into our lives with these special energies and secrets will come to light, especially about global organizations that only have their own interests at the forefront. There will be many divisions and separations and we see this most clearly in America, where the path of the solar eclipse directly crosses the past of the last solar eclipse in October. This is very fateful, a very important time. And the crossing point is approximately at the level of Texas and speaks of great changes that will come to USA. It is like a division of the country. And that is exactly what these energies are expressing with these eclipses. And since the election in the USA will also take place this year in the fall, it's quite possible that there will be not an obvious winner and that the parties will blame each other for the grievances. And this will only be the beginning. I see these tendencies worldwide, that old alliances that have been that have been important for many decades will break because they no longer see a common path. It is a time of rebellion and revolution and reorganization. And one of the big themes that this eclipse is triggering is the awakening of individuality where it is about finding yourself and no longer being part of a uniform idea, being a number without a face, as Klaus Schwab would like it to be with his Agenda 2030. Many more people will become aware of this and many things will uncover. And Manipulative people or organizations will no longer continue, continue to operate using the same methods and behavior. But the most important thing of all is the awakening of people. The, their own inner process of awakening to find their inner strength, and especially with Jupiter and Uranus. They are moving into the lunar mansion Kritika. And I have already spoken about this in my April update. It is so important. And with these current processes, not to go in fear 
and to give the changes the space they need. And by the way, the sign of Pisces is associated with the country Africa, North Africa and also Egypt. Egypt will be an important key when it comes to finding out more about our true history. But that's a topic for maybe a next video. So please subscribe to my channel. There is nothing, really nothing to be afraid of. But it is good to be able to read the energies and to prepare. Because they give us clues as to where we can make changes in our own lives. So that we can better understand our own story. And with this in mind, I wish you a consciousness expanding eclipse and all the best from the bottom of my heart and share this video with other like-minded people. I love you.